Welcome YouTubers to another Stoddard Tutoring tutorial on mole conversions. In this problem we will use molarity of one substance to convert to moles and grams of another substance and we'll use a chemical reaction to do this. Let's take a look. This is OpenStax Chapter 4, Problem 47, which asks uh, uh, for us to outline the necessary steps to convert 2.6 liters of 1.44 molar hydrochloric acid to moles and also uh, mass of gallium chloride. So in the first step we will need to take the given volume and convert that to moles. You will see how we do that with molarity in just a second. In the second step we will use the coefficients in our balanced chemical reaction to convert to moles of HCl uh, to moles of gallium chloride. In the last step we will um, use the molar mass to convert from moles of gallium chloride to mass or, or grams basically. Alright so uh, let's get started here. In part B of the problem it says to uh, go ahead and do the steps. Okay but part A problem solving is a necessary part that shouldn't be skipped. Alright so um, we'll start out with 1.44 molar hydrochloric acid um, and it looks kind of simple to write it in there. However let's write it in a more useful form since we know that M uh, stands for molar molarity or moles per liter. Um, now we can see if we multiply that by 2.6 liters the units will nicely cancel leaving us with uh, moles of hydrochloric acid left over. Okay. Now that we have moles of HCl we turn our attention to the balanced chemical equation. Here we can see that 6 moles of HCl produces 2 moles of gallium chloride. So let's position two moles of uh, gallium chloride in the numerator, that's up on top here, and six moles of HCl in the denominator, that's uh, down on the bottom of the fraction. You can see how the moles of HCl nicely cancel as well, leaving us with gallium chloride, uh, moles of gallium chloride left over. If we punch this out on our calculator, we get a value of 1.2 moles of gallium chloride, this is the answer to uh, one of the first questions in part A. In the final step, we will need to convert moles of gallium chloride to grams of gallium chloride using the molar mass. On the periodic table, um, you can find the molar mass for both gallium and chlorine. Here are the numbers from the official IUPAC website. Um, we add up three chlorines that each are 35.45 grams and one gallium, which is 69.723 grams, for a total of 176.073. And we'll write that there. So let's position the grams in the numerator and the moles in the denominator. Again, the units nicely cancel, leaving us with units of uh, grams there in the final answer. If you punch this in onto your calculator, it comes out to be about 220 grams of gallium chloride. Um, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel to receive help in other common chemistry problems uh, you may encounter.